Item number SCP-1247 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures In the event of a containment breach, SCP-1247 is to be treated as a physically normal, untrained human hostile. Personnel are warned that SCP-1247 is psychologically unstable and cannot distinguish between organisms. Use of lethal force to detain SCP-1247 is not authorized. SCP-1247 is to be contained in a standard humanoid containment cell. Standard humanoid SCP containment procedures apply. The cell must be proofed against penetration by vermin and insects. No personnel may make physical contact with SCP-1247 unless they fit the following physical specifications. Anatomically male, height within 5 cm of 176 cm, weight within 10 kg of 74 kg, anatomically standard number and positioning of limbs, digits and appendages, ears, nose, etc. Full specifications must be verified before physical contact with SCP-1247 can be authorized. Specifications may be waived during relevant testing. SCP-1247 is currently undergoing a process of psychological rehabilitation. To assist in this process, all personnel entering its quarters must wear face-obscuring masks and must not wear any clothing items or accessories made of or incorporating leather. SCP-1247 is required to attend bi-weekly therapy sessions with Dr. Zhang from 3 p.m. on Tuesdays and Fridays. Session lengths should not exceed one hour, but reasonable exceptions may be made at the discretion of Dr. Zhang. Dr. Zhang is required to wear a mask, and must maintain a distance of one meter from SCP-1247 for the duration of all sessions. Dr. Zhang has emphasized that the comfort and safety of SCP-1247 is paramount. An armed security agent must be present in the room for the duration of all sessions. To ensure psychological stability of SCP-1247, meals provided must not contain meat. SCP-1247 has requested that no mirrors be brought into its cell. SCP-1247 is a 37-year-old human male, formerly of United States of America. SCP-1247 is biologically normal on almost all accounts, however testing has revealed some atypical brain activity. Significantly, radiology has revealed the absence of substantial areas of the cerebrum, which appears to have been displaced by the presence of foreign biological matter from an unidentified living organism. This organism has been tentatively classified as a variety of fungus and bears superficial resemblance to mushrooms of the genus Morchella, but has yet to be conclusively matched to any recognized terrestrial species. There are currently no plans to remove this organism from SCP-1247. SCP-1247 exhibits three anomalous effects. The primary anomalous effect exhibited by SCP-1247 is psychological, and is observable only to SCP-1247 itself. When SCP-1247 is able to observe a live animal, dead animal, or part of an animal, it perceives that animal as American film and television actor Shia LaBeouf. This perceptual effect extends to all of SCP-1247's senses. Regardless of the actual size or shape of the animal, SCP-1247 perceives a life-size instance of Shia LaBeouf. Testing has determined that the body position and movements of Shia LaBeouf instances mirror the actual position and movement of the animal as closely as possible without requiring a restructuring of Shia LaBeouf's actual anatomy. For example, an ant perceived by SCP-1247 would take the apparent form of Shia LaBeouf scuttling in an ant-like way, but would be limited in its accuracy by Shia LaBeouf's lack of a thorax, third pair of legs, and other anatomical features possessed by a true ant. Despite this imperfect mimicry, SCP-1247 claims that Shia LaBeouf instances can perform the same physical feats as the animals they replace, even when this would be physically impossible for the actual Shia LaBeouf. For example, a horse perceived by SCP-1247 took the apparent form of Shia LaBeouf galloping on all fours at the speed of the actual horse, while a bird perceived by SCP-1247 took the apparent form of Shia LaBeouf flying through the air by flapping its arms. If SCP-1247 observes an animal that would typically lack the anatomical features of Shia LaBeouf, it perceives a normal Shia LaBeouf instance regardless. For example, a worm perceived by SCP-1247 took the apparent form of Shia LaBeouf lying on the ground with its arms and legs present but seemingly paralyzed. 
Similarly, if SCP-1247 observes a live or dead animal that is missing an anatomical feature, or observes part of an animal, it proceeds a full, anatomically complete Shia LaBeouf instance. For example, a cooked chicken wing perceived by SCP-1247 took the apparent form of Shia LaBeouf with one arm bent into a shape approximating that of the cooked chicken wing. The instance of Shia LaBeouf perceived by SCP-1247 in this test was dead, like the chicken wing, but was whole and uncooked. Testing has determined that instances of Shia LaBeouf perceived by SCP-1247 reliably match the current physical condition and appearance of the actual Shia LaBeouf. However, when SCP-1247 views parts of animals or dead animals, the perceived instances lack the presence of life, despite the continued life of the actual Shia LaBeouf. The secondary anomalous effect exhibited by SCP-1247 is physical, and may be observed by others. When SCP-1247 interacts physically with a live animal, dead animal, or part of an animal, it interacts with the animal as if it was Shia LaBeouf. This anomalous effect impacts on size, weight, and anatomy of the animal as it is interacted with by SCP-1247. For example, in one test SCP-1247 was asked to drag a Shia LaBeouf instance by its arm. Unbeknownst to SCP-1247, the Shia LaBeouf instance was actually a worm. Although the worm possessed no arms, SCP-1247 was seemingly able to grab hold of an invisible arm and accomplish the task with some difficulty. The test was repeated, with the worm test subject replaced first by a human, then a cow, and then a chicken fillet. All tests had the same result. SCP-1247 reported that the weight of all four test subjects was identical. Weighing later showed that this was not the case. All four test subjects had weight appropriate to the true forms, even whilst held by SCP-1247. In a later test, SCP-1247 was asked to sever an arm from an instance of Shia LaBeouf. This Shia LaBeouf instance was also a worm, and had no arm or arm equivalent. Regardless, SCP-1247 reported the successfully severing of an arm. SCP-1247 was asked to describe the perceived arm, but reported neither arm nor one arm Shia LaBeouf, but rather two whole, dead Shia LaBeoufs, one of which then disappeared. The exception to both of these anomalous effects involves a live animal, dead animal, or part of an animal that is located inside of SCP-1247. When this occurs, the animal proceeds as it would be by a normal human, and physically interacted with as such. Neither SCP-1247's primary nor secondary anomalous effects extend to photographs, recordings, live video, or other non-physical, non-biological forms or depictions of animals. However, SCP-1247's primary anomalous effect does extend to any animals observed in a reflection or through a lens. Neither SCP-1247's primary nor secondary effects extend to animal byproducts, or to organisms that are not part of the Kingdom Animalia. SCP-1247's anomalous effects have not yet been tested on a cellular level. The tertiary effect exhibited by SCP-1247 is psychological, and is observable only to SCP-1247 itself. SCP-1247 is incapable of viewing specimens of any species of moral mushroom, genus Morkella. This effect extends to live, partial, and dead specimens of moral mushroom, as well as all non-physical, non-biological representations of moral mushroom where it can be reasonably identified as such. This effect does not extend to textual descriptions of moral mushrooms. This effect does not extend to any of SCP-1247's other senses. There is no corresponding physical effect. Note. For a more in-depth study of SCP-1247's three anomalous effects, personnel may refer to Experiment Log SCP-1247. The manner in which SCP-1247 is able to exhibit these anomalous effects is unknown. According to SCP-1247, none of these effects were manifest before the year 20. In April of that year, SCP-1247 purchased and viewed a videotape recording of the film Holes, starring Shia LaBeouf. Approximately 30 minutes into viewing the movie, SCP-1247 was struck by a violent pain in the front of his head and blacked out for a period of time it estimates to be less than 10 seconds. Upon awakening, SCP-1247 resumed watching the film, and then went to sleep. At this stage, no anomalous effects have been observed. The next day, SCP-1247 exited its room and observed what it perceived to be Shia LaBeouf, naked and digging through its garbage. Based on its reported behavior, researchers have determined that the supposed Shia LaBeouf was most likely a raccoon. This incident marks the first exhibition of SCP-1247's primary anomalous effect. 
Following this incident, SCP-1247 alerted police to what it believed to be the actual Shia LaBeouf behaving under the influence of narcotics. SCP-1247 then took shelter within its home. When the police arrived, SCP-1247 exited the house, only to discover that both of the officers present were Shia LaBeouf. SCP-1247's recount of the following events is confused due to the trauma endured by SCP-1247 and SCP-1247's obvious perceptual disability. Researchers have determined the most likely sequence of events is that SCP-1247 fled the officers, encountered a flock of pigeons on the way to its car, and attempted to drive away. The presence of an insect, believed to be a blowfly, in SCP-1247 vehicle led to a panic attack and subsequent crash. SCP-1247 attempted to physically assault the blowfly. This incident marks the first exhibition of SCP-1247's secondary anomalous effect. Following the altercation, SCP-1247 fled the car, and later the town of itself. SCP-1247 took up residence in an abandoned cabin in the forest north of At this stage, SCP-1247 believed that the instances of Shia LaBeouf were some sort of demonic beings. SCP-1247 remained in the cabin for years, subsisting from water gathered from a rainwater tank, and by eating grasses, berries, occasional scavenged food, and the flesh of Shia LaBeouf instances it hunted in the forest. Attempts by SCP-1247 to cut, cook, or otherwise prepare its meat resulted in the same perceived outcome, whole, uncooked instances of Shia LaBeouf. For this reason, SCP-1247 took the biting chunks out of the Shia LaBeouf instances. The true nature of SCP-1247's meals was revealed to it only once the bite had been taken. It is believed that this uncertainty, combined with the psychological trauma of having to frequently devour what appeared to be human bodies, as well as the constant trauma of being surrounded by supposedly demonic Shia LaBeoufs, led to an eventual psychological breakdown. SCP-1247 was recovered from its cabin outside of following a police investigation of a recent homicide and cannibalism case thought to be related to the spate of animal slayings and mutilations around the area. After being taken into police custody, SCP-1247 attempted to explain its primary anomalous effect. Although police dismissed its effect as simple hallucination, it caught the attention of embedded Foundation personnel. Foundation agent was dispatched to investigate further and took SCP-1247 into Foundation custody after witnessing a display of its secondary anomalous effect. SCP-1247's copy of Holes has been recovered. Testing has determined no anomalous effects. SCP-1247 has expressed its interest in a second viewing. Experiment Log SCP-1247 Primary Effect Testing Experiment SCP-1247-E1-A Purpose To establish a basic understanding of SCP-1247's primary effect. Researcher Dr. Huang Experiment SCP-1247-E1-A-01 Stimulus Anatomically standard human male Perceived result Anatomically standard Shia LaBeouf Nude Experiment SCP-1247-E1-A-02 Stimulus Anatomically standard human male Test subject performs a series of movements Perceived result Shia LaBeouf performs some movements Experiment SCP-1247-E1-B Purpose to examine SCP-1247's primary effect in relation to non-human test subjects. Researcher Dr. Huang Experiment SCP-1247-E1-B02 Stimulus Anatomically standard horse Perceived result Anatomically standard Shia LaBeouf standing on all fours, mimicking stance of horse. Experiment SCP-1247-E1-B03 Stimulus Anatomically standard worm Perceived result, anatomically standard Shia LaBeouf laying on ground. Shia LaBeouf mimics actual position of movement of worm. All limbs appear paralyzed. Experiment SCP-1247-E1-B04 Stimulus, anatomically standard ant. Perceived result, anatomically standard Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf mimics actual position of movement of ant. Front legs of ant correspond to arms of Shia LaBeouf. Back legs of ant correspond to legs of Shia LaBeouf. Middle legs of ant do not correspond to any part of Shia LaBeouf. Experiment SCP-1247-E1-C Purpose To examine SCP-1247's primary effect in relation to subjects with atypical anatomy. Researcher Dr. Huang Experiment SCP-1247-E1-C-01 Stimulus Anatomically standard human cadaver Perceived result Anatomically standard Shia LaBeouf 
Experiment SCP-1247-E1C-02 Stimulus Human cadaver, missing left arm. Precede result. Anatomically standard Shia LaBeouf. Experiment SCP-1247-E1C-03 Stimulus Beef steak uncooked. Precede result. Anatomically standard Shia LaBeouf uncooked. Experiment SCP-1247-E1C-04 Stimulus Beef steak medium rare. Precede result. Anatomically standard Shia LaBeouf uncooked. Experiment SCP-1247-E1C-05 Stimulus Beef steak medium rare. Researchers divide steak into two halves through use of scalpel. Proceed result. Scalpel passes through Shia LaBeouf with no apparent effect. Upon complete division of steak, Shia LaBeouf instantly replaced by two anatomically standard Shia LaBeoufs. Experiment SCP-1247-E1C-06 Stimulus Steak divided into twenty small pieces, pieces arranged in disorganized pile. Proceed result. Single anatomically standard Shia LaBeouf. Researchers theorize that this Shia LaBeouf is SCP-1247's perception of the piece of steak most clearly in his line of sight, and that this perceived Shia LaBeouf blocks SCP-1247's view of the other pieces, preventing perception of additional Shia LaBeoufs. Experiment SCP-1247-E1C-07 Stimulus Mints created from beef steak and mixture of meat from nine unique sources. Proceed result Single anatomically standard Shia LaBeouf. Experiment SCP-1247-E1C08 Stimulus Slurry created from mints presented in Petri dish. Proceed result Single anatomically standard Shia LaBeouf sitting in Petri dish. Experiment SCP-1247-E1C09 Stimulus Slurry mixed with sawdust at ratio of 10 to 1, presented in Petri dish. Proceed result Single anatomically standard Shia LaBeouf sitting in Petri dish. Experiment SCP-1247-E1C10 Stimulus Slurry mixed with sawdust at ratio of 1 to 10, presented in Petri dish. Proceed result Single anatomically standard Shia LaBeouf, partially coated in sawdust, sitting in Petri dish. Experiment SCP-1247-E1C12 Stimulus Slurry mixed with sawdust and red ink at ratio of 1 10 20, presented in test tube. Proceed result Single anatomically standard Shia LaBeouf, partially coated in mixture of sawdust and red ink, one finger extended into test tube, Shia LaBeouf's body extends straight into the air. Experiment SCP-1247-E1C-13 Stimulus Slurry mixed with sawdust and red ink at ratio of 1 10 20, presented in test tube, stirring rod placed in test tube. Proceed result Single anatomically standard Shia LaBeouf partially coated in mixture of sawdust and red ink, one finger extended into test tube. Shia LaBeouf's body extends straight into the air. Shia LaBeouf has a stirring rod stuck into his left nostril. Experiment SCP-1247-E1C-14 Stimulus Slurry mixed with sawdust and red ink at ratio of 1 10 20, presented in puddle, mostly obscured by overturned table. Puddle extends from beneath table at two points. Proceed result Two anatomically standard Shia LaBeouf's partially coated in mixture of sawdust and red ink. Dr. Huang reassigned to administrative duties. Experiment SCP-1247-E1-D Purpose To determine whether SCP-1247's primary effect is psychological or truly affects senses. Researcher Dr. Chen Experiment SCP-1247-E1-D-01 Stimulus Horse stand with front legs on one mark, back legs on a second mark. Proceed result Shia LaBeouf standing equidistant from each mark. Experiment SCP-1247-E1-D-02 Stimulus Message board placed on wall behind horse, such as the horse's rear obscures the message from SCP-1247's line of sight. Proceed result SCP-1247 is able to read the message, as the anatomy of the perceived Shia LaBeouf is insufficient to obscure it. Experiment SCP-1247-E1-D-03 Stimulus Low intensity laser aimed at eye of SCP-1247. Path of laser then blocked by horse's rear. Laser activated. Proceed result SCP-1247 reacts to laser. Researchers believe that laser is successfully blocked by horse. Experiment SCP-1247-E1-E 
purpose, to examine SCP-1247's primary effect in relation to animals passing from direct line of sight and to investigate the hypotheses outlined at Experiment SCP-1247-E1-C06. Researcher Dr. Chin Experiment SCP-1247-E1-E01 -E Stimulus Anatomically standard ant Ant exits SCP-1247's line of sight. Proceed result. Shia LaBeouf instantly disappears. Experiment SCP-1247-E1-E02 -E Stimulus Ant placed within transparent container. Volume of container is 4 cubic centimeters. Proceed result. Shia LaBeouf pressed against exterior of container. Shia LaBeouf mimics the movement of the ant within the container, but remains affixed to the container. Experiment SCP-1247-E1-E03 -E Stimulus Swarm of 20 anatomically standard blowflies. Perceived result SCP-1247 exhibits signs of heightened distress. Test temporarily suspended and SCP-1247 removed from testing area. SCP-1247 later reports having seen an inconsistent number of Shia LaBeoufs flying through the air, appearing and disappearing instantaneously and at random. SCP-1247 stresses the leering eyes and slurping mouths of each Shia LaBeouf. Experiment SCP-1247-E1-F Purpose To examine SCP-1247's primary effect in relation to photographs of animals. Researcher Dr. Chen Experiment SCP-1247-E1-F-01 Stimulus Photograph of human test subject D-2474 Proceed result SCP-1247 accurately proceeds photograph. SCP-1247 exhibits strong positive emotional reaction. Secondary Effect Testing Experiment SCP-1247-E2-A Purpose To examine SCP-1247's secondary effect in relation to anatomy. Researcher Dr. Chen Experiment SCP-1247-E2-A-01 Subject Anatomically Standard Worm Test SCP-1247 instructed to drag Shia LaBeouf across the room by his arm. Result SCP-1247 appears to take hold of an invisible arm located nearby the worm. The worm instantaneously moves, snapping into position in SCP-1247's hand. SCP-1247 appears to mime dragging a body across the room. The task is accomplished with moderate difficulty. Experiment SCP-1247-E2-A-020304 Experiment SCP-1247-E2-A-01 is repeated, with the test subject replaced first by a human, then a cow, and then a chicken fillet. All tests had the same result. SCP-1247 reported the weight of all four test subjects was identical. Experiment SCP-1247-E2-B Purpose To examine SCP-1247's secondary effect in relation to weight. Researcher Dr. Chin Experiment SCP-1247-E2-B-01030507 Subjects Common Earthworm, Human, Cow, Chicken Filet Test SCP-1247 instructed to hold each test subject in a fireman's carry. Result, even where the anatomy of the test subject would make this difficult or impossible, SCP-1247 accomplished the task with the same level of moderate difficulty. SCP-1247 reported the weight of all four test subjects was identical. Experiment SCP-1247-E2-B-0204068 Subjects Common Earthworm, Human, Cow, Chicken Filet Test SCP-1247 instructed the whole test subject, then step onto scales. Result Weight of SCP-1247 82.409 kg Weight of Worm 0.001 kg Total Weight 82.410 kg Weight of Human 72.020 kg Total Weight 154.429 kg Weight of Cow 640.500 kg Total Weight 722.909 kg Weight of Chicken Filet 0.350 kg Total Weight 82.759 kg Experiment SCP-1247-E2-C Purpose To examine SCP-1247's secondary effect when applied indirectly. Researcher Dr. Chin Experiment SCP-1247-E2-C01 Subject Chicken Filet Task SCP-1247 asked to place a mask over Shia LaBeouf's face without making direct contact. 
Result, SCP-1247 was able to accomplish its task. After SCP-1247 released the mask, it remained in place mid-air above the chicken fillet. When SCP-1247 entered observation, its second anomalous effect ceased to affect the chicken fillet and the mask fell to the floor. Experiment SCP-1247-E2-C02 Stimulus A soft projectile was launched toward SCP-1247 such that it would be blocked by a horse's rear, but not by a perceived shell of buff. Result, the projectile was blocked by the rear. SCP-1247 reports seeing Shia LaBeouf snap in position to block the projectile at the point of impact. Experiment SCP-1247-E2-C03 Stimulus Two soft projectiles were launched simultaneously, such that one would be blocked by a horse's rear, and the other by the same horse's neck, but neither would be blocked by a perceived Shia LaBeouf. Result, similar result to previous experiment. Shia LaBeouf reported moved nigh instantaneously to block each projectile. Experiment SCP-1247-E2-C04 Stimulus A wide spray of water was fired from a hose, such that it would be mostly blocked by the body of a horse, but not be blocked by a perceived Shia LaBeouf. Result, Shia LaBeouf remained in place while the spray of water was blocked by an invisible barrier in the shape of a horse. Tertiary Effect Testing Experiment SCP-1247-E3-A Purpose To establish a basic understanding of SCP-1247's tertiary effect. Researcher Dr. Zhang, Dr. Chen Discovery of Tertiary Effect SCP-1247's tertiary effect was discovered during a routine therapy session. SCP-1247 was shown a series of flashcards, printed with images of various animals and non-animal organisms. When shown an image of a moral mushroom, SCP-1247 proceeded to blank card. Experiment SCP-1247-E3-A01 Stimulus Live moral mushroom Proceed result SCP-1247 is unable to proceed to stimulus. Experiment SCP-1247-E3-A02 Stimulus Live moral mushroom Researchers divide the mushroom in half with a scalpel. Proceed result. SCP-1247 unable to proceed to stimulus. SCP-1247 appears uncomfortable and reports a minor headache. Experiment SCP-1247-E3-A03 Stimulus Divided moral mushroom. Researchers attempt to ignite the mushroom. Proceed result. SCP-1247 exhibits great distress, screams. The mushroom is propelled away from the researcher by an unseen force. SCP-1247 loses consciousness and falls to the ground, hitting its head against the wall. SCP-1247 removed from testing room and scheduled for an MRI-CT scan. Results of MRI-CT scan SCP-1247 is uninjured. However, results of spectrometry reveal that the foreign fungal entity appears to have extended further into SCP-1247's brain. The fungal entity now occupies over percent of SCP-1247's brain. Testing of SCP-1247's tertiary effect had been indefinitely suspended. SCP-1247 is now required to wear a padded crash helmet at all times.